randomly clean. He asked forgiveness for coming and doing that to us. But I, I'll call his name because not that I have, and I have nothing against him. He was hanging with some of those boys. So he came and he revealed things to us that was frightening. And that day, I, I don't know what, I almost, I lost it that day. I was so, he said that, don't you know that the junior will never live? So I already knew that A.B. would die. I was on a house arrest when they caught my brother. And the night before, I dreamed that they caught my brother. And I dreamed that he was killed. So when they caught my brother, I cried the whole day. But he was, and I went to visit him in prison on 18th of July on his birthday. Doe gave us permission to go and visit him. And I visited him. And he shared his the power of God that he was sorry that he said he couldn't stay still. He had to find out about his mother. He said, you know, I said, why did you talk on the telephone? See, now they caught you. He said, you know what? I couldn't, I, first of all, he couldn't leave the country. He said, I, was, I didn't want to leave. My mother was still here. I didn't know what was happening to my mother. And he was so eager to find out the safety of his family and so on. That's why he called. And that's when they caught him. But they killed him and buried him have a life. Kuyampa, when he came to America, he wrote an article in, I think it was Newsweek, and I kept the article, but I don't know, I lost the paper, moving from my house to the next, but in this paper he described that they took A.B. out and, kill, and told them to dig their grave. <clears throat> and while they were digging their grave, they shot them, and they covered him when he was still mourning. And up to this day, we don't know where my brother's grave is. If anybody knows, could they please tell us? We'd like to put a monument there. And we'd also like to put a monument where my father was buried. And we want permission now. Hopefully, they will grant us permission.